Hi, Thomas. A uh, great idea. Boy, it looks like this is a big problem in our society now. You know, people who don't have a few hundred dollars to pay, pay a bail bond or a bench warrant and they put you in jail and then you can't make money to pay it. And it's just stupid, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm glad you're thinking about, you know, this nonprofit to uh, pay for bail bonds. It, it, it's God, I mean, it's a hot issue, it's an important issue and everything, and I think you could find support for that. But how you do that, man, it's anybody's game. You know, I think it's just trying a whole bunch of stuff and getting lucky. The only way you get lucky is you talk to lots and lots of people. Uh, okay, here's where I'd start. Okay, in Virginia, like every state, uh, I have a link here and a video that shows you how your state government wants you to get a grant and help you start a nonprofit. Because when you do that, you're creating jobs in the state. See, you're bringing money in the state. So <laughs> you're a hero. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the link there has the video of, and uh, this is the video here of the fellow who runs the office in uh, Maryland, Virginia. I think it's run out of the, uh, uh, the state library down there, but I have the contact information of Virginia there. Okay. Now, no matter what, the next item here is the number one source of free help for any nonprofit business or invention. And, and, and this is the your business development center may probably send you information on this to the local, but they will help you say, you're, 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 you've got to fill out forms. You've not got no financing, marketing, management, taxes, legal, public relations, technology, any kind of stuff. They're free. See, they get grants from the government. And usually if they're at a business college or something like that, um, uh, people are getting grants to help you with all that stuff. See, if you Google, you're just going to get people who, you know, going to get charged thousands of dollars to do the same thing they could do for free. So, you know, in starting this venture, remember, man, don't, don't go looking for help on Google. You're just going to wind up spending money because you can't find exactly what you want. The only thing that's going to be there are people who, who sell you that stuff and you don't know your options because they'll never pop up. So you'll get caught to somebody who's a sweet talker and you know, get your money or, or get you in further trouble. And I have two vi videos on uh, this. Now, the other thing, I'm not sure, that, uh, I wouldn't start this now, but keep this in the back of your mind. A crowdfunding is very good. You know, for something like this, this would be, I mean, it could be a natural for crowdfunding. Think about that. I show you, I mean, it's something that's growing exponentially, you know, and it's money you don't have to pay back. Um, and, and also this for a cause. You know, this, this is something that you're working on that is a need, I feel, in our society. And so somebody's got to do this and solve this problem of um, not only injustice, but it's a waste of resources. I mean, it gets people further in debt. Yeah. You can't pay bail bond because you don't have money, so they throw you in jail, so you can't make money to pay the bail bond. <laughs> yeah, that's stupid. Uh, and uh, so read up on this um, because it, it, it's important, I think. And here, here's something, the closest thing that I've run into recently about this. This is a crowdfunding site just for bail bond. So and any kind of legal thing. You know, this is a crowdfunding site in the legal area. It's called fundedjustice.com. I have an interview here with the fellow who runs the site. You'll see that it can be used for raising money for bail bonds. I mean, it's a little different twist on what you want to do because you want to have a grant thing for bail bonds. And this is, you know, to go out on the Internet and get money for bail bonds. But what I would do if I were you is contact the person in the interview that I do here tell him what you're trying to do because he's involved in that and it has the same issue and the same concern you have trying to help people that are in this predicament and and I'd use that and and I, here's a copy from his website look somebody's raising $25,000 wow that's great but there, there's dozens and dozens of people now the other thing to do is I think what's Great. This sounds something we could do with, uh, you know, aimed at, at low income people. See what, what happens now in the government, there's something called block grants. And so the federal government has a whole bunch of money that it, they give a big block grant to every state to do what they want to do with that money. So there's a, there's a potential of 
taking a slice of that money already because they use it for a lot of it is for people who don't have money to do things you know like pay for daycare or uh you're out of work and all, all these kinds of issues so this could be under that umbrella how that happens the bureaucracy i don't know you know and but the way to find that out more about how the possibility of doing this is through your elected official here's a link here um that you go to this website Put in your, your zip code and it shows you all your elected officials for your zip code. So you have two, con two senators and a congressman. I'd start there um, and contact them, see what you want to do. And, and they have, see, this is a real great place. I mean, people who are in the private sector, I mean, they can't make the government work for you like these people can because these elected officials are the real people who pay their bills, the salaries of the people in the government you're going to call that give out grants. They're the only ones who pay their bills because they pass the bill to give them the money <laughs> to live for another year. So that's why it's very easy for your elected official to find this information out. It's easier than, than me, than any professional or whatever, because they have special people on their staff that do this all the time. And you see, I, I did a little Google search for New Hampshire. And this is interesting, I think, uh, for you to have. Uh, uh, New Hampshire is working on that issue already. They're taking steps to stop the process of jailing the poor when they can't pay their bonds or, or, or their warrants. Uh, and they're working with the ACLU, okay? So that's American Civil Liberties Union of Virginia. See what I, I think what you're going to do is find people who are also interested in that because this is a big national issue, I think, and a very important one. And so, you know, a lot of people are doing groundwork already for that. So you have energy and ideas to contribute to that. So here I gave you the link to the ACLU in Virginia. Okay, I would contact them, go to the website. Uh, it says contact, I'll just write them a short note or whatever. Hey, you'd love to talk to somebody. This is what I'm interested in doing. And uh, just want to pass it by you and maybe you have recommendations for that. Um, so there it's, you know, at this stage so, uh, of the game, there's so many possible ways to get funding. You have to start narrowing it down and see what the issues are, who's interested in it, where it makes the best sense, you know. Um, and, and formulate that plan. And all the sources I'm, I'm giving you now are people that will help you formulate that for free. And they know about this stuff too, okay? So let us know if you need more help.